we've had a really tough morning trying to decide the winners for the Great British Space Dinner, and there's been so many fantastic entries from primary and secondary school, and everyone... Lots of effort in, haven't they? A huge amount of effort. I mean, I was amazed, I have to say. Yes, yeah, there, it's just fantastic. Um, some ideas that really stood out to me, uh, I love the idea of a samosa. Um, I think that, that would make great space food, and yeah. personally I love samosas. Is that okay crumb-wise? Yes, I think that would be okay. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll, that, that would be manageable. So I think, I'm just going through these, obviously I've picked things for certain reasons, I'm thinking, oh yeah, well, that could be really interesting to play mm -hmm. around with. Obviously <laughs> a big chunk of this is going to be your taste, because yeah. if there's something you don't like, <laughs> it's not really fair giving it to you <laughs> up there for six months, is it? Uh -huh. What did you have then as your... Oh, another... I thought this was... Uh, this was brilliant. This brilliant, this one. <laughs> the um, soup bar. Yes, yeah. I mean, in, in, encasing soup in a... Like a bread, bread crumbs one, and then egg glazed, um, and then the helmet pie. Uh, now, the consistency of the soup would have to be carefully thought about once you break yeah. that seal. Um, just how uh, thick does the soup need to be before it actually is released into the, uh, the zero-gravity environment. Oh, this was interesting. Sunday roast pasty. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got Cornish pasta with carrots, runner beans, onion gravy, beef and potatoes. Yes, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, some other things. Uh, oh, Yorkshire pudding uh, in a stew. Again, I thought, wonderful idea. Mix, yeah, mix it all up in a month. There are some. There's some toad in the holes and Yorkshire puddings with I stews. I found somebody was a Yorkshire pudding cone. Aha, uh -huh. yes. That, I've got that one as well. Um, where are we here? The, uh, the toad in the cone? Yeah, toad in the yeah, cone. Yeah, toad in the cone with the um, burger, cake, chocolate mousse and limeration. I thought it was a good menu, the whole thing, actually. Yeah. I thought it was a very strong menu. Um, this was one of my, um, one of my front runners. It's a curry. Yes. Plowman's bargee. I thought that was quite interesting. <laughs> So for me, that because the spices, it seems mm -hmm. to be you do need to boost everything up when you're Absolutely, up there. Absolutely, yes. Everything's just a little bit, you know, you can't, you can't mm. smell as even. You can get yes. there. So, yeah. I, I also thought one of those was a good idea about one of the, which was the one where they drew, and this was a primary school one actually. Oh, here we are. The big breakfast launch. <laughs> it's a really big burger with no crumbs. So, yes. have even thought about that. Slice of bacon, and you've got your hard-boiled egg in sausage meat square. Mm-hmm. And um, that actually made me think, God, you know what? You could do a scotch egg. That Well, actually, breakfast. yeah, it's interesting, because scotch eggs is one of my favourite foods, and there was another ent entry that focused on scotch eggs as well. Right. So I think we've got our winners. Yeah, I think we have, then. Guys, thank you. Uh, this was really difficult choosing one or two winners. The entries were fantastic. There was so much work done on them creativity, research. We couldn't pick two, we picked five. So kicking it off is a space menu by Joe Drennan uh, from Ray Common Primary School. And Joe, I think it was a look on your face and the use of popping candy or space dust in the chocolate mousse inspired. So the next winner are the Astro Foodies from Clashit School in East Ham, London. And the thing that really stood out to me about this menu was the Space Shoop Bar, uh, which is soup and glazed in breadcrumbs um, an egg, and I think that's going to be fantastic. And also the bite-sized planets as a dessert. Another winner is the Big Breakfast Launch. This is the menu that had this in it. Very beauty. It's a breakfast in a burger. Uh, and this was by Archie from Abilene Parochial VC Primary School. So, Archie, well done. Okay, the next winner is KF Space Girls from Gateshead, and uh, they came up with a fantastic idea, which is a rocket lolly. So, uh, you start with your, your starter and eat your way through the lolly to a main course and the dessert which is just a, a wonderful menu and also a great idea. I think that's going to provide a real challenge to Heston's team. OK, finally, we've picked this entry. It's a full-on curry with a difference. The spices are going to work really well up in space. Um, there's a lot of stuff to sort of sample here. But in fact, one of the things that really caught my eye was these two desserts, rhubarb and custard coffee cones. So it's kind of like a curry dessert, but it's a good, good old British, classic British dessert combination. And then this, chai latte. It's like, a, it's like a drink, but served with a chocolate cinnamon teaspoon. So this is from Chloe, from Nova Academy in Swindon. Chloe, 
Great work. So guys, thank you so much for all your fantastic entries and congratulations to the winners. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys here in Bray in my experimental kitchen to try and create some delicious food for Tim when he goes out to space and have a load of fun in the process. And I'm looking forward to getting on board the International Space Station and trying some of the food that you create along with Heston. Thank you so much.